Artist Ellen Griesedick was stunned back in 1999 after visiting Boeing to witness the company's 747 aircraft. How am I going to create a painting that can give other people the idea of the experience I'm having right now? And that that was like, whoa, you know, and I, I, you know, I spent three days at Boeing, got to meet all these guys, walk around, but I kept thinking, how am I going to do justice to this experience? Soon, the American Mural Project was born. It's a nonprofit organization and spectacular mural all about working professions. Now, 22 years later, this mural is 120 feet long and five stories high. It's the first of its kind in the entire world. Plus, it's three dimensional. So somehow this should be able to take any and everything. The materials go all over the place, fiberglass, steel, ceramic, marble. Liberty is 115 pieces of three quarter inch marble, which were cut, laser jet cut. Each piece has a story. I know everybody in this, in this mural. I mean, by name, I can, I can tell you exactly, Bobby, Bob, Melissa, Edwin go on down the line. But it's really important to, it, it, I mentioned the love I have of being around these guys and, and really understanding the work they do. You can't paint these unless you really know these people. Including a night when Griesedick lost power. So I run out to the end of the driveway to thank him for getting the lights back on, getting it. And I said, thank you so much. I scared him out to death. but. You know, then he, he said, nobody ever thanks us. And I said, yep, that's why I'm, I'm doing this mural, because nobody ever sees you guys, thanks you guys, even in something like this. You can't really wrap your mind no. around the, the materials, the weights, the scale of this thing until Absolutely. you're actually standing here, I think. But it, it's, it's here on Whiting Street in Winstead that you can see this tribute to American workers made by American workers. I find now, as I look back on this, and we're still going to take a couple of years on that back ramp because we got a lot we still have to do, but it seems kind of a sweet harmony that the very tribute I am paying to working people, they are finishing it. They're finishing the art. And without them, this would be a pile of stuff on the ground. And what was it like to put everything up? Okay. It is, a, it, it is a thrill to work with top professional working people. So now you convince them to come in and help you. And once they start working, they have to troubleshoot everything because there's nothing conventional about this. Everything is going to be uh, scratch your head and try to figure out how to do it. It's their knowledge, which is why we're looking at this right now. And one of her main inspirations, getting kids involved and passionate. Most kids aren't clueless. It's just, the, it's just their path. It's the path they're taking with cell phones, faces in cell phones. They don't look you in the eye. And they certainly don't look at the roofer, the farmer. And I thought, someone has got to do something about this. We've got to make something so big, you're not going to miss it. And Griesedick has engaged thousands of students across the country in creating pieces of this mural. This piece, the foundry, was the first piece of art. So I thought, let's just try it out. We'll, we'll t pick eight schools in Connecticut, Massachusetts, and New York, and we'll do what became the foundry project. And by the time we got down to the end of it, and we had kids of the Tyre Barica, Puerto Rican kids, working with kids from a prep school, Hotchkiss, here, right around here, it was such a thrilling experience to see these kids working together and really working together. And when it was finished, we all stood back and went, wow, is this not cool? And when you think about it, you go, holy mac. I mean, we just created this and we couldn't have done it by ourselves, but together we did it. Everyone coming together to make this magic. The father at the end of the day says, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but he said, I was just part of something this weekend that was all about good. And he said, I can't remember the last time I felt this good and had this opportunity. Yeah. And I think he, you know, he really sort of summed it up right there. My first reaction when I first came on board was that suddenly I became attuned to noticing my world around me more.
from the person who was repairing the guardrails to the person who was making a sandwich. Amy Wynn is the executive director of the American Mural Project. She says they're just beginning. The exciting thing is that it's not uh, set and, and finished. It is evolving and will continue to, to evolve. Ellen is very busy even now installing some of the collaborative projects that she's done throughout the country with over 15,000 kids and community members in the rear ramp gallery, which is just behind the mural. And that's going to be a tunnel, a jungle of art eventually with uh, written stories of all the different collaborative projects. Capturing minds from old to young, the mural can inspire so many. So as they're going out, the kids are all filing out to the bus and he's still in here. And they go, where's Edward? Someone comes in and he's kind of wandering, he's wandering back. And he looks up at me and he goes, you know, I'm gonna just close my eyes and I'm gonna think of this all the way back to Hartford. Now, how wonderful is that? Now that is so exciting. You know, when you have, when you have captured something with little guys, you know, done. Absolutely slammed on.